Dynamic Techno Medicals presents 4LB. The 4LB kit is a four layer bandaging system used for the treatment of venous leg ulcers. It comprises of four types of bandages applied one above the other. The 4LB kit contains stockinette with silver, one orthopedic bandage, one light cotton compression bandage, one medium elastic compression bandage and one cohesive bandage. Take care to keep the ankle at 90 degree angle before you start. The bandage should be applied with the ankle at about 90 degrees angle, starting from the base of the toe. The bandage has to be applied in a figure of 8 pattern around the ankle and continue up the leg in a spiral pattern with 50% overlap on each turn covering the calf muscles. And continue up the leg in a spiral pattern, covering the calf muscle and then finishing just below the knee. The second layer is a light compression bandage, which acts as an absorbent layer but doesn't give any compression. This bandage is applied with a 50% tension. If you stretch the bandage fully, that is 100% tension. If you stretch it half of its full extensibility, that is 50% tension. Start bandaging from the base of the toe, covering the ankle in a figure of 8 pattern and continue up the leg in a spiral pattern covering the calf muscle and then finishing just below the knee. The third layer is a medium compression bandage which is applied with a tension of 50%. The application of this bandage starts from the base of the toe, covering the ankle in a figure of 8 pattern. Unlike the other two layers which follow a spiral pattern up the legs, the application is continued up the leg in a figure of 8 pattern. The bandage is applied one turn up and one turn down, forming a criss-cross design. This is very important. At the top of the limb, it is loosened off and no tension is applied to the last turn. The bandage can now be secured with an adhesive tape. The combination of these three bandages increases the sub-bandage pressure, which promotes ulcer healing. The fourth layer is a cohesive bandage, which is self-adhesive. Start bandaging from the base of the toe, but care should be taken not to allow the bandage to touch the skin, where it could drop. So leave 2-3 to three millimeters at the edge, such that the earlier bandage can be seen. The bandage is applied in a figure of 8 pattern, at ankle and in spiral pattern with 50% overlap up the limb.
Finish the layer by leaving 2-3 mm at edge to avoid touching the skin.